Man, that uh, Karnak secret hard mode fight on Damnation difficulty sure was something. If I had to hear Rinda say, Don't they look desperate, brother? One more time. I thought for sure my sanity was going to crack. But credit where credit's due. Props to Fat Shark for making the Orthus Offensive set up a major turning point for Darktide's story. Because mark my words, something huge is coming and it is not at all what you expect. Yes, yes, Rinda is most likely not actually dead, but that is small time compared to what the Orthus Offensive holds. And the best thing is, is that it isn't even in the actual game. The huge, crazy important secret that the Orthus Offensive holds is actually the mission's name. Yeah. Orthus was a name that was scratching at the back of my skull for a long time. I could not put my finger on it. It's unlike Fat Shark to title expansions and content something that's completely unrelated to the lore of its 40k setting or a proper name of a location within the unique world they've created. I figured Orthus must mean something, so I plugged it into Google, assuming it would be a Latin root and make some kind of sense when you consider High Gothic. And oh my god, it's something so much better than that. Orthus is a reference to a Greek mythological two-headed hellhound that acts as a guardian for the monster Garion, which is pretty on the nose because obviously the twins reflect that as being two parts of a set, a two-headed guardian of Wolfer. Orthus's father? Orthus's father is another monster named Typhon. What? I cannot believe I am deceased. I am perished even. I'm just going to say this right now. If this isn't the thread Fat Shark meant for us to be picking up, then they have got me fucked up because really, truly, sincerely, there is just no reasonable way this could be a coincidence. This mythological character reference isn't even the first time Fat Shark has done this within Dark Tide. If you've been watching my videos since I said gene stealers were coming to Dark Tide, you might remember this one. Grendel. Is that name a reference to Beowulf? Is that why the servitor doesn't have a head and the face briefly turns into a holographic skull at the end of the locker room speech. And here's the fun part. I didn't even make the full connection on the Beowulf reference. If you're not in the know, and honestly, you're probably reasonable and fully hinged to not be in the know of ancient Germanic epic poems published in Old English in the early 1800s, Grendel is the name of the monster that the main hero Beowulf sets out to kill. So obviously we have our Grendel, which is suspicious that he's named after the villain, but who's our hero, Beowulf? Wolfer! It's right there! It's in the name! How did I not see it? Wolfer sees himself as a hero willing to do the unthinkable to quote unquote free Tertium. He's a wolf! And obviously, whatever is going on behind the scenes has something to do with targeting Grendel specifically because the Vox 12 entity threatens him to- Hi there. Welcome to the video. I've gone off the deep end because my little nerd brain is imploding with things to tell you, especially if you have no idea what I'm talking about. So what does a Greek monster named Typhon have anything to do with 40k lore and tie into the story of Darktide? In this context, everything. And I'm going to do my best to lay it all on the line as clearly as possible. Obviously, we all know this by now, Darktide is about our reject characters coming together in a mission to stop an invasion of a cult that worships the chaos god Nurgle, god of despair, life and death, disease, and decay. In 40k lore, every chaos god has a a legion of traitor space marines that are loyal to them, and Nurgle's traitor space marine legion is the Death Guard. The first captain of the Death Guard was a human Xenos halfbreed named Callus Typhon, who was chosen and blessed by Nurgle to become his chaos champion. It is Callus Typhon who brought the entire Death Guard to fall to Nurgle and turn traitor, at which point he became known as Typhus. The fact that the Orthus Offensive in which we fight and kill the Karnak twins is named after a two-headed mythological beast fathered by a monster named Typhon, connecting the original namesake of Typhus, the chosen champion of Nurgle, to the Karnak twins in the story of Darktide at large, that that cannot be an accident. And just to avoid confusion going forward, I am going to be referring to Typhon slash Typhus only as Typhus for the remainder of the video because that's what he's known as in current lore. Typhus is one of the most, if not the most recognizable character name when it comes to Nurgle lore in the 40k universe. I mean, come on, Typhus had a model dedicated to him for decades before Mortarian even ever got one. To just casually make a title for a mission in Darktide that has a lore 
your connection to typhus and have it be an accident or not actually mean anything at all would just be wildly unlikely. So am I saying that I think typhus is literally the father of the Karnak twins? No, 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 no. But I do think he probably is metaphorically. We are all painfully aware that Dark Tide's story is full of ambiguities and unanswered questions. And as the game goes on, Fat Shark just keeps posing further mysteries, elaborating on nothing, and then disappearing into the night. Some of those are classic questions such as, what's causing the perturbation in the war Brannock references in Vox 11 that's hampering communications? What's the entity in Vox 12 that killed Wormwood? What's the Cult of Admonition's full role in the Siege of Tertium, and are they the source of chanting Wormwood reported here under the city while she was still alive? Where did the demon host come from? Where's Grendel? And the list goes on. And while Typhus doesn't necessarily answer everything on the growing list of Dark Tide mysteries, his involvement in what's happening on Atoma would certainly explain a lot. Typhus is known as a wanderer. His street name is Typhus the Traveler. He's somewhat unique when it comes to traitor marines that are pledged to a specific chaos god in that he isn't really beholden to the orders of his primarch, Mortarian. If anything, they're closer to equals than Mortarian would admit, and he's resolved to let Typhus have more or less free reign as long as he shows up to help Mortarian when it's really important, usually when Nurgle tells him he has to or he's going to be put in the timeout corner. Otherwise, Typhus roams the galaxy, spreading disease to sow chaos and despair amongst humanity. His common MO is to show up with his plague fleet, start a cult to spread the grandfather's blessings, then fuck off to the next place to do the same thing, which could be the origin of the cult of admonition. Reinforcing this idea, is the fact that Tertium is beset by the walking pox virus that Typhus himself is responsible for originally bringing into the galaxy. He's the most likely candidate to have constructed the machinations by which Tertium has come to be invaded by Nurgle, alongside another potential candidate that I'm still trying to suss out if they're involved, so that's a theory for another day. But does any of this mean we'll ever see or hear from Typhus at any point in Dark Tide? I can tell you one thing for damn sure sure, we will never fight him. For as many comments as I get on literally every single video that any given enemy other than standard cultists would be an outrageous idea for our rejects to be able to take on, and everything under the sun is a space marine level threat, Typhus, a chosen champion of Nurgle, is 100% out of the question. He would flatten anyone the Morningstar could throw at him. It doesn't make sense from a gameplay perspective and also Typhus is a current character within the 40k tabletop canon, so he is completely off the table for a fight in Dark Tide. Any cameos at all? Yeah, that's not so certain. The mystery of the Vox 12 entity has been bothering me since Fat Shark put out Vox 12, and I am side-eyeing it really hard right now. When we hear it approach and then kill Wormwood, we don't hear a gunfire, a sword fall, or anything other than the sudden scream of our poor fallen friend. I already said this in my video about about the traitor curse, but not hearing a single weapon and then an entity saying it took Wormwood's soul to me is indicative that a demon or psyker of Nurgle killed her. And fun fact, Typhus is a psyker. His father was a Nurgle worshiping alien on his home planet of Barbarus and his half-breed heritage makes him a psyker of reasonably formidable strength. There's one great scene in Plague War where he touches a person on the forehead and they wither into disease immediately and die, which surprises even him. I'm not entirely sold that the entity we hear threaten Grendel is Typhus, but it isn't completely out of the question that he may show up in a cameo kind of situation. And threatening an Inquisitor that you're coming to claim their soul requires some cojones. Nurgle's chosen grimy boy would definitely have both the track record and the hubris to back up that level of smack talk. Putting aside the potential of whether or not we'll ever get to see or hear from Typhus in Dark Tide, there is another big hype factor factor that this discovery might be pointing to, and that is, of course, Plague Marines. I know a vast majority of us want to see them, and honestly, I've always believed since Darktide was announced and it was clear that we were going to be fighting the forces of Nurgle, that at some point before Darktide is sunset, we will see Chaos Space Marines. They're just too insanely popular. It'd be leaving too much hype factor and money on the table for Fat Shark to not eventually put them in the game. And before you start adding me in the comments, consider that on the tabletop, Ogrins are a decent equivalent in points, 
toughness and damage to space marines. So a generic plague marine or even one that's taken some hits to the chin before the rejects take them on is not completely out of the question. All right, internet, let me have it. Is this much ado about nothing or are you on the same wavelength that I am that Typhus is the originator of the cult and virus that's caused all these events to be set in motion? Do you think we'll ever get to see or hear from the big T himself? Let me know. I am ready for your judgment. Let's talk in the comments. Come join the discord and of course subscribe for more tinfoil hat level content, lore dives, and fun gaming content. And as always until next time, I'll see you out there against the dark tide. On Thursdays at 11 a.m. Pacific time because that's when I stream Dark Tide on Twitch so you should come play. Yeah, okay. <laughs>